Amid growing fears of the deadly Ebola virus, uh, top leaders from international groups are raising their collective voice to quickly combat this outbreak. And uh, Paul E is uh, joining us from the News Center. Paul, the United Nations has been one of the most vocal organizations on this uh, health crisis. What are they saying now? Well, in the latest call to action, UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon said there needs to be a 20 fold surge in international aid and resources to deal with the disease in West Africa. World Bank President Jim Yong Kim warned of catastrophic economic costs to the African continent if world powers failed to act now. Dr. Tom Freedom, the director of U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, echoed the sentiment on Thursday. He warned Ebola could turn into the world's next AIDS crisis unless a major intervention was immediately launched. The CDC director stressed the epidemic was changing every day and that speed was the most important factor. I will say that in the 30 years I've been working in public health, the only thing like this has been AIDS. And we have to work now so that this is not the world's next AIDS. We can control it by speed going to the local level, supporting not just the countries, but the counties, districts, and prefectures. That's where the battle will be fought and where it can be won. The three leaders were speaking in Washington at a global summit of the IMF and World Bank. The World Health Organization says nearly 4,000 people have died in the current Ebola outbreak, with a death toll averaging about 50% of cases since the beginning of this year. Mm.